In terms of artificial intelligence, uh, we really strongly believe that that's going to have significantly changed radiology practice going forward at, at all levels. There are many areas where we're actively pursuing the use of artificial intelligence right now. And artificial intelligence is really a global thing. It's basically using computers to do any sort of data manipulation. Uh, but specifically, I'm talking about using a deep algorithms, learning algorithms, where the computer basically learns things on its own. The primary area that we're implementing right now in RedNet is in the area of billing, where we think that it can markedly improve our billing accuracy so that we can collect the appropriate money up front and, uh, and have fewer errors in the billing process and that we're really going to be implementing this fall. And right now we've already developed the, the AI algorithms. And we're doing this primarily with a joint venture company that we've put together with people at Harvard, at the, primarily the Harvard Medical School and Mass, Massachusetts General Hospital. Uh, so that, that's one area. Now there are other areas. The, the people at Massachusetts General Hospital have also developed new MRI acquisition techniques, which are far more efficient than older ones. So right now, there's a sequence which we're developed where instead of doing 15-minute acquisition for an MRI of the brain, for instance, they've been able to, to tone it down to only three minutes of acquisition. And with that, they can reconstruct uh, much higher resolution images of the brain than we've ever had before with better signal to noise and with all the tissue contrast that we use with multiple sequences in the past. So instead of going in and having five or six sequences of the brain, patients can go in for one three-minute sequence and we have all the information. Uh, so we are working uh, with our joint venture people at Massachusetts General Hospital and we're going to start trying to apply that this fall also in our centers which we think will be great for patients and next year we hope to take those same techniques and develop new algorithms for joint imaging to allow us to do much higher resolution, much faster joint images as well. So I'm very excited about that. So that's an area that we have active research uh, going on right now. The other area then is for, for artificial intelligence is the area that most people think about when they think about radiology with artificial intelligence. And that's using algorithms to interpret imaging studies. That's an area that I think is gonna take much longer to develop than uh, the other areas that we're looking into. Uh, right now, I think where, where we, well, I don't think, I know, where, where we're going to be trying to apply those algorithms right now is not in trying to replace the radiologist, which I, I don't think works very well. A lot of people have been trying to do that for seven or eight years now, and it hasn't gotten anywhere. But what we know is that the computer can detect thing on image, some things on an image is much better than a human, and a human can do some things much better than, than a computer. So I see going forward for at least the next decade that there will be synergy between the two. And the things that computers can do really well are doing is numerical evaluations, determining the volumes. For instance, we can now automate determining the volumes of the menisci. So if they're partial meniscectomies, we can actually follow the amount of meniscus that's been uh, removed. If there's a degenerative tear of the meniscus, we can see how much meniscus is, it, is involved and we can get quantitative numbers for that. We can also try to start quantitating the, the extent of progression of degenerative changes in the knee. So instead of just eyeballing it, we actually have numerical values that are much more accurate than just eyeballing from a human. In other areas of the body, such as the organs, if you're looking for cardiomegaly, uh, the computer can determine with within uh, cubic millimeters the size of all the different organs of the body, something a human just can't do. And there, there are a whole lot of areas where artificial intelligence, I think, is going to allow us to get much more useful information from the images that we're currently applying that a human can apply. And so the next area where we're thinking of using uh, algorithms and we're already working with our algorithm developers uh, at Massachusetts General Hospital to develop algorithms that can actually add value to what we're doing. And uh, I think this will be very beneficial to patients and to referring physicians.